the overall goal of the following experiment is to non-invasively assess acute renal allograft rejection by 18F fluorodeoxyglucose positron emission tomography. This is achieved by performing allogeneic rat renal transplantations. Lewis Brown Norway rats of the first filial generation, or F1, serve as kidney graft donors, while Lewis rats are used as recipients. After transplantation, acute allograft rejection is allowed to develop within the first postoperative days by abstaining from immunosuppressive therapy. Next, FDG is given intravenously, followed by positron emission tomography to delineate activated leukocytes in the graft undergoing rejection. In cases of acute rejections, positron emission tomography shows accumulation of FDG activity in allografts due to the significantly increased glucose metabolism caused by the activated leukocytes. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods like core needle biopsy is that it is non-invasive and assesses the whole organ. This method can help to differentiate an acute rejection from tubular necrosis or cyclosporin toxicity. This technique extends the present possibilities to diagnose acute renal rejection because it can be applied in patients taking anticoagulant drugs. Due to the high danger of bleeding complications in these patients, they cannot be investigated.